Today we're eye splicing three strand rope. You start by taping the end so they don't unravel while you're working. Traditionally this was done using a piece of marlin to create a rough whipping. But these days we have vinyl electricians tape that makes the job so much faster and easier. I often form a point in the tape at the end of each strand. It's like a crude plastic needle. But this Gleaston Thimpest rope is so easy to work with, I don't need it. Once you have the ends prepared, carefully untwist the separate strands to the required length. Give each of them a slight tweak as you go along so that the strands stay together. To splice in this thimble for a jib halyard, I bend the line around the thimble and adjust it until the first unlaid strand sits beside where the first tuck will go. Take the first tuck, then go to the next strand and tuck that under. See how it works? So far so good, but here comes the tricky bit. Turn the splice over and reverse tuck the final strand. It's hard to explain, but if you look closely at the video, you'll soon be going, ah, yeah, gotcha, mate. Now, right away, take the same strand over one and under the next twist. If you get it right, all three strands will be in a line. From there, it's over one and under one, always starting with the strand closest to the eye, then number two, followed by number three. You repeat that until your hands get tired or you run out of strand or decide that's enough and duck out for a pint. Someone once said five tucks are enough for most jobs, and seven if you're paranoid or figure the sea really is out to get you. Finish off with the three strands in a line, which creates a nice seaman-like taper to the splice. Trim off the excess, leaving a tiny bit sticking up. I'll explain later. The next trick is to drop the splice on the ground and roll it under your foot to make it nice and round. Then burn the ends you just trimmed to seal them tighter than super glue. There are several ways of splicing, but over the years I found this way works best for me, and I never once had a splice fail yet. <laughs> 